Welcome back. You're watching Business Morning on Channels Television. Of course, our conversation on the program has been centered on the Nigeria Sovereign Investment Authority and, of course, the Nigeria Sovereign Wealth Fund. So many things. We know that it's made up of three funds. We have the Infrastructure Fund, we have the Stabilization Fund, and we have the Future Generation Funds. I've been having a conversation with the Managing Director, Chief Executive Officer of the Nigeria Sovereign Investment Authority, Uche Oji. He's still here with me in the studio. Just a quick reminder, we know the financial markets are closed for the Edith Fitri holiday. And uh, of course, there's a security alert. Make sure you are conscious of your surrounding. Go about the celebration happy, of course, but don't forget to stay alert. So we go back to our conversation and Uche is here with me in the studio. Thank you so much, Uche, for sticking no, around. My pleasure. Thank you. you know, just before I went on that uh, quick break, um, I talked about the $200 million bond, billion dollar fund. Uh, oh, let me rephrase myself. The NSA, NSIA has yes. invested about $200 million. That's the stabilization fund. Okay, that's part that's of the stabilization. That is a stabilization okay, fund. Two hundred. That's correct. In the bond markets in the U.S. That's and correct. then we know that there's a bond tapering sure. in the U.S. Sure. Does this affect this money? It, it, it's, uh, we have uh, tweaked the strategy a little bit. Um, there's many risks you have to worry about um, in terms of the uh, bond market. Uh, tapering is one, but tapering started last year. And with, even with tapering, uh, you haven't seen a huge amount of uh, issue. And, and part of the reason why we made investments, even in the face of tapering, is that tapering will only happen if the fundamentals of the economy are better. And the fundamentals of the economy are better, almost every instrument does well. This is why you've seen the bond market has been okay. It hasn't been spectacular, but it's been okay. Um, and uh, the equity market has also, um, is making, uh, apart from the recent decline on Friday, but the equity market is, is done much better than it has been since last year. The U.S. markets are up, you know, S&P is up almost 7%. Mm. So overall, the, the point I'm making is that tapering is one of many risks that we worry about. And there are things we have had to do. Number one, uh, first of all, let me clarify something. There are three managers we hired initially. Um, manager selection and manager uh, onboarding is an ongoing part of our business. One of those managers has since then been dropped. And you know we've moved on to a few other managers. Like I said, across both the Stabilization Fund and the Future Generations Fund, we have about 19 different managers now. We have also invested in instruments created for us by Nigerian banks and across the board. So that was the very first step we took. We announced that but, you know, this is an ongoing part of our business and we can't put out a press release every time we make a change. So I want to make sure that that is clear. Having said that, um, because again, you know, at the end of the year, we'll put everything in the annual report and you'll read it. Having said that, um, uh, the, the three managers we selected was also to make sure we're well diversified and we invested in treasuries, we invested in, in high investment grade fixed income. Since then, we've kind of changed it to open up to what we describe as an unconstrained uh, range of fixed income as long as they're all investment grade. So the other products that are not just copy bonds, mm. the other products that we've also looked at uh, that we think are interesting as a way to diversify across uh, the various ranges to make sure the returns are good. So, so to address the issue of tapering, we have since then um, opened up our strategy and become a bit more diversified to avoid any direct impact. So it's not just the US, it's also um, uh, in Europe as well. So we've opened up uh, that fund. Now, the federal government recently allocated about $200 million to the account specifically for investment in gas to power, power projects. That's correct. And, uh, you know, in the earlier conversation, when we started talking, you actually yes. spoke about it. That's correct. How much of that has been achieved now? So we are still onboarding that money. Uh, the money was announced in February, but, you know, getting the contracts all signed up has been, uh, these things take time because both parties have to be sure that they are uh, committing to what they can do. And so um, there are two announcements that were made. The first announcement was $350 million that we're going to manage on behalf of the bulk electricity trader in the same vein as the stabilization fund. That has been onboarded. We've started investing in that. Um, that was, there was an agreement signed. It was in the papers, um, I think, on Thursday. Mm. So that's done, right? We started investing in that almost soon after that. It will mirror our stabilization fund. The gas to power money, again, like I said, if you look at the power sector, we arrive at the power sector. Uh, we started to uh, uh, invest just soon after the privatization. So we're looking at assets. We're looking at a whole bunch of assets. We're in extensive due diligence on, on quite a few, extensive due diligence on, on quite a few. So you might see uh, one or two uh, gas-related investments, um, I believe. Um, again, I don't want to commit myself because, again, I'm negotiating with people. If I put a deadline out there, it would make my life very difficult. Yeah, but, but yeah, look, these are deals. These are specific 
transactions we have to invest in and both parties are negotiating. Look, my objective is to make sure that I achieve the best possible returns for Nigerians on these funds. Mm. And if the risk is too high, because again, this is not a simple intervention and you give money away and it comes back, it doesn't come back. No, we're investing to A, number one, make sure the investment is safe, two, make sure they earn a return. If I do not find something that meets enough of those par parameters to my satisfaction, we wouldn't do it. Do you understand? We won't. So we are looking at some of these sectors. The good news is that there is so much to do and there's so many opportunities in the power sector and in the gas sector that I'm very confident that um, you know, we'll be uh, we'll making an investment soon in this area. But we will take our time to make sure we dot all the I's and cross all the T's before we start writing these checks. You know, that's very comforting, Uche. But you see, looking at you know, what you've um, said in the last couple of minutes, it seems as if you're targeting mostly on a large scale. We're not looking at the medium to smaller scale. Oh, no, no. We are looking at so our investment strategy is we, uh, the minimum investment we put out there in our, report, in our investment policy statement is $5 million. So we can look at small scale. You know, can look at really small scale, but again, you don't want to look at because it takes it as much. It takes almost as much work to make a five million dollar investment as it is to, to make a fifty million dollar investment in many cases. So, so we are very careful to make sure that you know we don't go too low that we end up stretching ourselves too thin. We're not a big organization. We're not gonna. We're, we're currently it's a professional staff strength. That's everybody, including front office, back office, one hundred twenty-five people. So it's a very small organization, and that is probably how I will retain it because of the size of the fund that we have. So the reality is that we are also being very careful and selective where we invest. The due diligence is very, very extensive before we make some of these investments. But no, we can go as low as $5 million, and we can go as high. The maximum exposure we want to make is 30%, 25% of the fund in any one investment. So if you take 25% of the fund in one investment, we can go as high as $100 million per investment. So it's $5 million to $100 million is very, very wide. And frankly, I see a lot of opportunities in captive power. I see a lot of opportunities in power generation across the board. Captive power opportunities are small. And these are you know, people who run you know, uh, small power plants for a, an industrial park, a free trade zone, where you have a, a, a guaranteed uptake. Those opportunities we're looking at, they're not massive. We're looking at you know, a whole bunch of things in small hydro. So there's, there's opportunities everywhere to look at. So, but don't, don't get the impression wrong uh, that we are looking at only big ticket items. No, we're looking at everything. It's five million dollar tickets to as much as 25% of the fund exposure uh, tickets. But but again, we have a lot of businesses that are not even up to $5 million in Nigeria. Yeah, but, but the point is this. Listen, again, I've just described to you the size of my team, and the size of the fund, and we also have to make sure that uh, we make the right impact. For smaller funds like that, we will invest in fund managers who will then go ahead and make those kind of investments. It's about making sure you optimize the setup that you have. See, we kept a setup that, don't forget that NSI has been profitable because <laughs> that is number one objective I've set for myself. We're, we're new, we're under, 20, we're under 20 months as an organization. In fact, actually as an investment company, we're under 12 months effectively because we only started investing in the back half of last year. Mm. So the reality is that this will scale over time. You know, over time, more contribution, more exposure, more people will scale. We cannot day one. It will be massively distracting. If day one we decide to scatter across everything and want to solve our problems at once, will not be effective. It will not be. It has to be a methodical strategy to execute. Otherwise, you will achieve nothing. Is that the same?